Good morning, once and one and all. My name is Kathy. I'd like to welcome you to my channel, the Scrap and Crafty Gardener. And today, I'm the card I'm going to be making is another five by seven card, and this is in response to a monthly challenge on the Gina K Designs Facebook page, where you have to make a card using her parameters. And the parameters for this time are they have to include three strips of paper, washi tape, ribbon, and you have to use her inks and uh, stamps and dies. So today I'm going to be using her Under the Mistletoe stamp and die set. I know it's after Christmas, but I'm gonna get a head start on Christmas for next year. For this project, you need your envelope. And my five by seven card measures 10 inch by seven inch, creased in half, and scored with my bone folder. Now you can make an A2 size card if you want to. Now these color combinations are gonna sound a little weird right now, but I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I have an outer layer, which is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then this is just a scrap piece of paper that I had, it was decorative. And this I'm gonna change the color of. It is four and a half by six and a half. And then the inside is our card base, measuring four and three eighths by six and three eighths. And then I just have some scrap paper to mark on. I'm also beginning to using uh, my new Ohuhu uh, alcohol ink markers. And I'll be using Gina K Designs uh, Black Onyx ink and her Dark Orchid ink. I'm also beginning to be using a uh, watermark ink. I don't have Gina K's, but I do have the Versamark, and I, I hope that's all right to go with the challenge. If not, it's just a great opportunity to make a card. And I'm also using her clear embossing powder a little bit of washi tape, and some sequins. I put out a variety here because I'm not sure what sequins I'm gonna use it yet. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is get out my Misty stamping tool. And I am going to be stamping some of the snowflakes from this set onto this, uh, just the half of the card. I'm not gonna put any on this half. And I'm going to take these. Actually, I'm not going to use my Misty for this one. You know what? Let's give it a go and use my stamping uh, block that I haven't used in a long time. I'm just going to put these randomly on the block. And they've already been conditioned. I've used them several times already. And just stamp it with my Versamark ink. And I'm just going to randomly put the snowflakes. And I'm going to do this fairly quickly so they don't dry out. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for getting out my stamping block because I am notoriously bad at rubber stamping, which is why I stopped doing it for a while until they came out with the Misty Plant form. All right, get a piece of scrap paper here. That aside, I'll put my embossing powder on and see how well I did or how badly I did. Whoops, <laughs> make a mess. That's okay. Oh, actually, not bad at all. I'm pretty proud of myself, other than making a mess with the glitter, but you know. Well, let's see. Part of the rag here. Just gonna clean that up and scrape it into my thing. All right. Now I'll get out my heat tool and I'll use my reverse tweezers to hold that. This may be a little loud, so I'm gonna do a little bit on camera and then I'm gonna turn it off and come back when it's done. I do some from the back and some from the front. Now I'll pause the camera. Okay, I'm back. This has all been heat set. Right now it's just an iridescent white on white, um, but I'm going to be changing that up a little bit. Get out my scrap paper again. And this is where I'm going to take a little bit of the dark orchid. And 
and I'm just going to rub gently across the paper. Just a light touch. And if I get more in one spot, that's okay. Gina's inks have a smoothing agent in them. Plus, I'm going to be embellishing a little bit. Just to make like a, a foggy iridescent layer. Now, while I have the color out, I'm going to take this purple piece of cardstock. And I am just going to ink up the edges. And I'm going to go a little bit darker on this. I love the circles and how it kind of looks like snow falling. But I'm going for non-traditional Christmas colors here. Very non-traditional. You do get tired of the same red, green, silver, and gold. What is wrong with pink and purple, may I ask? Just the edges. And it doesn't have to be overall. I was like, I'm kind of going for a dappled or a speckled effect today. Well, let's see how that's going to look behind this layer. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay, so we can stop on that. And we're done with this ink for now. And I'm going to set that aside, both of those, to dry a little bit. And I will get out my Misty Stamping Tool now because I am going to be using the elements from here. The holly. Where's my... There we go. I just need a piece of scrap paper to stamp these on. And I am going to be doing two of the holly and one of this um, Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. So I'll just kind of set that over there. Okay. Now, get out my black onyx ink. And my handy dandy inexpensive Chucky tool. I do promise that I'll make one in a video coming up. I kind of have an idea of how to do one. Uh, I think just one more. Okay, then I'm going to turn this around. And just kind of go just like that. Yes, I don't need the sentiment again, but I'm going to stamp it anyways because I can use it at a later date. It's here, we'll use it. more on this. Okay, that looks really good. Now I'm going to pause the video again while I go cut these out with the die cuts. See, this will go, there we go, like that, that when I cut it out. And I'll cut out a couple of those. And I will be back in just, oh my goodness, I totally apologize. My camera stopped recording while I was putting the card together uh, after I went and die cut them. So I'm going to kind of explain what I did. When I brought the die cuts back, I colored them in, and the colors I chose... For the light color, which is like the little bubbles, I used my Ohuhu marker, uh, V185 Deep Lilac. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that was for the petals. 
but for the little bubbles, I used the V192 Begonia because that's a lighter color. So I did the bubbles and the center of the butterfly in the Begonia. And then the petals I did in the Deep Lilac V185. Now for the ribbon, I went pretty bold on that and I used an RV968 Vivid Purple. And then what I didn't get to show you uh, that I wanted to show you was how I did the washi tape. But well, we'll just pretend that this is my card that I had done. I had this washi tape I just peeled and I taped this down to my Tim Holtz media mat here. And then I just used the lines that's on the mat to tape that down and I extended out above it so that when I was all done, I could fold the washi tape over at the top to give it a little sturdiness. And then for the, the pink strip, I had this pale pink lavender and it was pretty wide. So I cut that in half and just used the half strip. And then on my die cuts, I actually cut two more additional layers for each one of the butterfly um, greenery, greeneries, I'm gonna call it. Um, and glued them to the back so that they were a little sturdier. And then I popped those up with some kind of maybe quarter inch, if that, let's see. No, three eighths of an inch of foam squares behind those. And I kind of angled it like a butterfly flying. And then I, put the sentiment strip down flat and I did cut two additional layers on that just to give it a little bit of loft. And then I added some sequins. I had several to choose from and they were all the wrong color. So I went with this kind of pink purple. And then I wanted to show you, I had practiced earlier in the morning uh, with blues. And for this, I used uh, the Gina K Ocean Mist color for the background. And then I used the Ohuhu uh, for the light color was B996 Frost Blue. The medium was B389 Fresh Blue. And then for the darker ribbon, B683 Process Blue. And when I did this card, it's when I realized that I wished I had some more of her sentiments because I needed a larger Christmas sentiment down here. Now, if I was just doing an A2 card, this would have been squished down perfectly. And this is why I decided on my next card that I wanted two of the butterfly foliage uh, instead of just the one. But I hope uh, you like. The colors I chose are really wild and random, uh, but definitely a non-traditional Christmas color. Uh, it was f fun to do. Um, and I'm going to submit this purple card uh, to her challenge. And then tomorrow I am going to try and do another challenge card, but this one is for the craft roulette challenge. Last night uh, when I was watching Gina Kay on there, that was the very first time that I had ever seen that particular channel and I just fell in love with it. So I want to try and create a card for that challenge tomorrow. Uh, but I want to thank you uh, for anyone who's watched. And I want to say I'm so excited to have my very first subscriber, Justine from uh, Spellbinders and Foiling Snobs Club. And I do have her sports team kit that eventually I'll get around to using. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed my video. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and good night. And I do apologize for the video lacking.